Hey, good morning, friends. Pastor Jason here with our Saturday check-in. Uh, I'm going to share the closing two verses from Isaiah 61 for us today. This is Isaiah 61, verses 10 and 11. It's where the upper room dis discipline devotionals have had us this week, kind of working our way through all of Isaiah 61, and wraps up with these two verses today. The prophet says, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. No. The author of the devotionals for this week provides, provides just a wonderful com commentary on this for us. Friends, I'd just, just invite you to hear just this small snippet. The author speaking on those two verses says this. He says, Isaiah's words swell and expand our understanding of God's vision for the new creation that we know will come when Jesus walks among us. We look back with excitement and forward with anticipation for the coming of the Lord. Then Isaiah's words begin to crash in on us and ring out with joy about the coming of the Lord and the victory that God has given us as God's people. We are the bride, despite all that humanity has suffered and all the pain that God's people have been through, we are loved. God sees us as the beautiful creation that God has always intended for us to be. While things may be difficult, we can look forward with joy and, an, and anticipation because we know that God's presence and God's will have overtaken the forces of evil and pain. The Lord God will grow righteousness and praise before all the nations. The ecstasy of Isaiah's words reminds us that we are waiting for a singular moment in history, in the history of the world. That God, the one who created the universe and imbued it with life, is coming to us. God, who understands and has power over all things, cares for us. And in this passage, in this culmination of Isaiah 61, all of that gets bundled to together and just crashes and waves over us. That God is coming. Just one part that I want to lift up to us one more time, friends, and I, and I invite you to hear this. Despite all that humanity has suffered and all the pain that God's people have been through, we are loved. And God sees us as the beautiful creation that God has always intended for us to be. I think it's just a great, great reminder of what, you know, what the Israelites were expecting when Jesus first came. It captures, I think, a little bit of the, of just the, the tension and the brokenness that we find ourselves in now as we wait for Christ to come again. That in spite of all the hurt, all the, the dark, you know, that God, God sees through all that, continues saving us, continues redeeming us, continues bringing forth beautiful new creation in the midst 
of it. And yes, it's hard to wait and we're growing impatient. And as long as these moments are, they're just moments. You know, they're, they're just moments in between the major occurrences. The, the incarnation was huge, life-changing, world-changing. The second coming is going to usher in a whole new age. In between, it's, it's all just stuff. In between, it's all just stuff. You have an opportunity, though, here in between, here in this moment, here in times such such as these, to you know, to help bring people into that hope, to help remind people that they're a new creation, to help to bring others along with us to a place that's maybe a little bit more stable, a place that's maybe a little bit more safe, but just the place where the hope and peace and love and mercy reign and will conquer and will rule all. That's what's promised with the second coming. That's what, you know, that's, that's just who God, God is. That's what God does for us. He causes shoots of righteousness to grow up from the ground like plants. Even, even now. Um, so friends, don't, don't get tired of waiting. Don't get tired, tired of fighting the good fight. Remain hopeful. Remain optimistic. You are, I mean, you and me, we, we are God's beloved, God's chosen people, even right now. And, you know, we, what we celebrate here in Advent, what we cel celebrate here in Christmas is his coming. And he's done it before and he will do it again. And may we be a people who are able to kind of anchor ourselves in that, root ourselves in that, and remain, remain hopeful, remain the beautiful creation that he designed us to be when the world tries to tell us that we're not. Oh. Uh, friends, have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend. Hope you stay dry today, friends. Um, be safe. Be well. We'll see you tomorrow, 9.30 and 11.00. Here on Facebook Live, we'll get them up, up on YouTube as fast as we can, friends. Remember how much that you are loved, and we will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.